Hi, everyone. Well, thanks so much for joining. This was a request uh, for an avocado, cucumber, and of course, aloe vera soap. So here I'm cleaning an avocado, uh, an aloe vera leaf, excuse me, um, scraping out the gel, and I'm dropping it down in a jar that I have there. And there's a lot of heavy editing through this because this would be an hour video with everything that I did in this. And there's the aloe vera gel. The next thing I did was juice a cucumber. And um, this is pretty straightforward. Drop it in and juiced it and snap. Sound, but there it is. <laughs> And uh, this was a lot of fun to make. I, I love making soaps with natural products. Here's the avocado here. This was a very nice avocado, by the way. Uh, I, I, had, I took a real joy in this, like I do with all natural soaps, and those containing food are some of my favorites. Um, I've used most of these ingredients before, but together, never. And what I decided to do was to blend all of these together in my Vitamix into a single emulsion and then freeze them into cubes. And just thought that would be easier than adding all the individual ingredients. So that's exactly what I did. So I cut up my avocado and then I mixed it with the aloe vera juice and the or aloe vera gel I should say and the cucumber juice and here it is all blended together and it smelled really good by the way I was tempted just to drink it but it was really thick as you can see but I poured this into ice trays and froze it so that it would be easier to incorporate without having to worry about burning it. Here are my oils and butters. Goodness, I have cocoa butter. I have everything. This is mango butter, uh, shea butter, meadow foam oil, avocado oil, olive oil, castor oil, and a little bit of sunflower oil. So here are those frozen, or some of them. There are actually two trays of these. I used it all in this soap. I made a very large batch here. I just decided to use it all. And um, so here it is in the bowl, and then I have it in a ice bath. And I'm just going to start adding my lye to it, and very slow. Now this is edited, of course, quite heavily. Um, but this took a little while because I added the lye very slowly and stirred and stirred and added more and more until it was all completely melted. And it did darken slightly, but not didn't burn, never burned, because I kept it cold and I kept a look at the temperature and it never exceeded 70 degrees. So at one point I actually took the, I don't know if that's on here or if I edited it out, but I actually took the stick blender to this and just made sure that it was well, well emulsified before I added it to my oils and butters. Which is what I'm about to do right now. Oh, these are my essential oils and I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember it. <laughs> I've got it written down. This is actually my own formula of five different essential oils together, and it smells heavenly. And because natural things like avocado and cucumber lose their smells, and so the aloe vera doesn't have much of a smell, they don't really leave any smell behind in the soap. And I thought it would be nice to give this a very special scent and it's very lightly scented by the way I used a small amount of oils considering the size of this batch this is a six and a half pound batch doesn't that look wonderful it's just luscious <laughs> so much fun I really enjoyed making this soap um, I'll enjoy making them all, but uh, especially when one of you make a request, those are the most fun for me.
This was uh, also one of the most satisfying because it did exactly what I wanted it to do. This is a soap that has no swirls, has nothing special. The only thing, the only problem with this whole thing, and there was one issue, and that was with the mold, my brambleberry uh, slab mold. It's because I don't have a loaf cutter. I inserted some of the dividers in it, but I didn't get them in completely straight. So uh, one of them, one of the bars came out, or one of the loaves came out a little crooked, so I had to fix it in the cut. So I end up doing a lot of trimming on these, but overall the bars themselves, they're large and beautiful. <laughs> these are big eight ounce bars. Now they will, of course, as they cure, lose some moisture as they do and lose a little weight. But see, you can see, even though I didn't use those, uh, the uh, side or the center, I should say, the center dividers, the main slats have the cuts in them, so that left those weird little marks on the side, which I had to shave off, which wasn't hard. But overall, once I cleaned these up, what a beautiful soap this is, and smells heavenly. It really does. Um, I, I love that you folks make these kind of suggestions because it helps me to reach beyond what I might ordinarily do. And what's better than that? So as you can see, I did a lot of trimming on these. You'll see a little pile there in the bottom right-hand corner uh, as I trim these up. And of course, that'll all go into my next rebatch. But I spent a lot of time cleaning these up and trimming them up and they came out looking great. They really did. I was so happy with them. And I hope the photograph catches that. But these really were a lot of fun. So thank you all so much. I've got some new subscribers and I want to say thank you so much for joining. And of course, to my current subscribers, big hugs to you. Uh, if you would, make sure you hit that bell so you get the notifications. I upload a couple times a week, sometimes more, and I uh, just want to make sure that you have access to those as quickly as possible. So this will be available in my Etsy store about the first week in August. So thank you all so much. I love that you come here and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.